Assalamualaikum. Hello Wan Ruby. How are you today? I hope that you are fine staying at home. Okay, today we are going to learn about a new topic which is fraction. At the end of the lesson, I hope that all of you can recognize fraction and state and name the fraction given. Do you know what is fraction? A fraction represents a part of a whole or any number of equal parts. The keywords here is equal parts. When we talk about fraction, we talk about the equal parts. Look at the pizza. That one slice is a part of a whole pizza. Same goes to the chocolate bar. A piece of that chocolate bar represents a part of the whole. Look at the pictures here. There are the example of a whole or one whole. A whole of pizza, a whole of wafer, one whole of cake, one whole of biscuit, a whole of rectangle shape, a whole of square and a whole of the triangle shape. Okay girls, now take a paper that you have prepared. It can be in rectangle, square or any shape that you prepared. Okay, fold a paper into two equal parts. Make sure when you fold the paper, it is equal. Okay, can you see the lines there? So draw a line in the middle. Take any color that you like. Then you need to color one part. One part of the whole part. One out of two. Okay, one out of two means the fraction is one over two. That means you colored one part of the two equal parts. The other name of one over two is half. Now, look at the shapes given. Let's check together. Are these show equal parts? Take a new paper, then fold the paper into half. Fold again to make it half. So you need to fold it twice. Open the paper, then you can see the line clearly. So, take your ruler and do the lines. Just follow the lines. Okay, now, how many equal parts that you have? Yes, very good. You have four equal parts. So, for this fraction, you need to color only one part of the fraction. One part of the equal, of the equal part. Okay, can you guess the name of this fraction? How many parts that you have colored? One. So, the name for this fraction is 1 over 4. That means you have colored 1 out of 4 equal parts. The other name of 1 over 4 is quarter. Look at 1 over 4 or quarter here. We have the correct 1 over 4 and the wrong of 1 over 4. It is correct because 1 over 4 has all equal parts. There are 4 equal parts. Only one equal part is color which is red. Look at this fraction. This is not 1 over 4 or equal. Why? Yes, you are correct. This is not 1 over 4 or quarter because the parts are not equal. Now, we proceed to the next example. Take your new paper. Fold the paper, make it half. Make sure you fold to the equal part. Then, fold the paper again. That means you fold the paper twice. Open the paper and refer to the lines. Can you see the lines? 
Take your ruler and draw the lines. How many equal parts can you see? Yes, now you have four equal parts. You need to color two parts from the whole part. This is the first part and color the second part. Can you guess the name for this fraction? There are two equal parts from the whole part. The name for this fraction is 2 over 4. There are two colored equal parts from the four parts. We look at the next example. Take your new paper and fold the paper. Fold the paper again into equal parts. That means you fold the paper twice. Can you see the lines there? Yes. Take your ruler and draw the line. Now, you have four equal parts. You need to color three parts from the whole part. Color the first part. Then, color the second part. You can refer to this video while doing this activity. Then, color the third part. That means now you colored three out of four equal parts. What is the name for this fraction? Yes, there are three colored parts. So, the name for this fraction is 3 over 4. Another name for 3 over 4 is 3 quarters. As the summary, we look at the fraction that we have learned just now. The first fraction is 1 over 2. The second one is 1 over 4. 1 over 4 means there are 4 equal parts. Only one part is colored. The third fraction is 2 over 4. That means we have 4 equal parts. Only 2 parts are colored. And the last one is 3 over 4. 3 over 4 means we have 4 equal parts. And there are 3 equal parts colored. That's all for today. Hope you enjoyed the lesson. Thank you for watching. Stay safe everyone.